All right, everyone, Alan Wade here, ADAR Productions. I'm here with a tutorial to show you how to animate a puppet in Adobe After Effects CS3. It's going to work on all the other new ones also, but CS3 is what I'm running. I'm showing you how to animate a puppet, not using the pen tool, the pen tool rather, doing it the hard way, using um, using um, the rotation, and we're going to um, attach all the objects. I have a, uh, another tutorial that I made with which in, in Photoshop, which I uh, took a, 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 a object and I separated all the layers, and now we're going to import that Photoshop document, that PSD, into Adobe After Effects, and we're going to um, attach all the um, limbs and stuff back together and we're going to animate it. Alright, so let's open um, After Effects and let's get busy here. Alright, um, uh, I hope you guys watched the tutorial prior to this. If not, then I hope you guys already know how to, um, how to uh, separate the, the, the layers of the um, whatever you're going to animate in Photoshop already. You already have it separated. Okay, so first thing in After Effects, you're always going to want to create a new composition. All right, create, um, let's call this uh, let's call this uh, par parent toot. Okay, because I'm showing you how to parent. Okay, you can double click in your areas, your uh, work area right here. Not the work area, but this little window right here to open up the find file. You're going to click on the desktop because that's where I save my PSD. You're going to click wherever your PSD is with the um, separated files on Photoshop. Click on it, open it up. You're going to open up as footage, um, but you're going to want to edit it, editable layer style. Okay, so you don't want to um, have merge layer style because all the layers are going to come already stuck together. You want to um, um, keep all your layers. So when you open that up, this um, here it is right here. Just drag it down to the comp. Okay, so now you see I got all the layers that I made in um, Photoshop. I got the body, head, left arm, left leg, right arm, um, right leg. So for example, here's the uh, here's the body, right? You move the body, and the rest of the uh, parts are right there. All right, that's not realistic. When you when I move my body, my arms and my legs come with me. You know what I mean? <laughs> move the you know you move that. You know, you, you want everything to move with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to parent. We're going to parent everything together. And what parenting is, is just like, just like you know, just like, it's obviously like, like parent, I'm the parent, you're the child, you follow me. Okay, so we're going to parent all the things to the, all the um, other um, pieces to the body. So let's start from the bottom and work our way up. We're going to get the right leg, the right leg, which is right here, boom, right leg. Okay. Okay, we're gonna take the right leg and parent that to the body. Okay. So we can pick whip it. This with this tool right here, just boop, and there's a body right there, right? So the right arm also to the body. All right? Left leg to the body. Um left arm, body, head, body. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to animate all of these layers. Now, when you move the body, the whole thing moves with it on the composition. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to animate. We're going to animate, um, let's do the uh, right leg. We're going to animate the right leg, the rotation of the right leg, okay? So there's a rotational value. Okay, so you're going to turn on the stopwatch, and you're going to move ahead one second, and you're going to alter the rotation. Okay, now, you see that? What what it's doing right now is it's rotating on the um, on the anchor point that we have set, but we got to change that anchor point so that it's more realistic. You know what I mean? Because you don't when you you know rotate your stuff, it's not like you know it's not gonna like s swivel like that. So okay, let's let's change the anchor point. All right. Um. So what we're gonna do is that anchor point right there, which is in the center. You're gonna turn on, go up here and hit this little button right here. It's like a square type of target type thing. It's called the pan behind tool. You know, um, highlight the layer that you're changing the center point for, hit the pan behind tool, and then click the center point and just move it to where you want it to be. So that's more realistic right there. Put that, and you can do that for each of the layers. Right arm, right arm, where's the uh, anchor point? It's in the center for the right arm, obviously. That's gonna be right here, right? You're gonna do the, uh, Left leg, um, that's going to be about right there, 
All right. And you're going to do the left arm. That center point is right here. That's going to be right here, right? And then the head center point is right here. Move that to the top because that's where it rotates, right? Now, when you animate everything's rotation, it should, like, move right. So, once again, turn on the stopwatch for the right leg. Move ahead about a second, right? Animate the rotation a little bit. Make it move up. Right? Move up. And then, second two. Copy. I do Command C, Command V. And it's just a slight movement. Woo! Woo! All right? Let's do something else. Let's do something else. Um, let's animate the uh, let's animate the left leg also. Okay, so um, gonna go to the left leg R for the rotation. Turn on the stopwatch. Take it out one second. Change the rotational value. All right. Ah. Second two. Let's bring it back. So you see what you can do here. Now everything is moving, right? We're animating, animating a real object. Do the same thing for the arm. All right, let's do the right arm. Or let, let's let's do the, let's do the left arm. Okay, so um, left arm, R for rotation. Turn on the anchor point. I mean, turn on the stopwatch. Let's go to second one. Change the rotational value. Uh, about right here, it looks a little realistic, kind of sort of, and bring it back. Boom, Command C, Command V. So, we got this little guy moving right here. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so you see um, how you could do this. Um, of course, like you guys can make your puppets neater and it can look more realistic than what I got, but for right now, this is what you're going to get. And I didn't use the, like most of the other tutorials, everybody's using the pen tool. I taught you guys how to do it the hard way because you gotta you gotta find the object. I found this little guy on on um, Google Images. You just find your object. You import it in Adobe Photoshop. You separate all the layers, separate the background um, from it, of course. Then you bring and uh, import all the layers into After Effects. You uh, parent them to the body, and then you uh, change the we've changed the um, anchor points so that it pivots. The, on the right areas, not in the center, and then you animate the rotational value, and then you got an animation in a place. You can make it faster, of course, but this is what we got. All right. So I hope this was helpful. I promised you guys um, to teach you what I was learning while I'm learning in school. Of course, you, you know, to make it a little faster. Before, you know, let's make it a little faster because it's kind of silly right now. Bring in the anchor points. I mean, bring in the um, points just a little bit, and it'll move faster, more realistic. All right. Yeah. So, um, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to like, you know, bring you guys more tutorials to show you uh, what I'm learning in school. Hope this was helpful. Hope I uh, somebody learned something. A Dub Productions. Check me out. A Dub.com. Also buy my album. It's called Rocking with the Best. It's on iTunes right now. A slash D U B B. Rocking with the Best. Um. Check it out and give me some feedback. Tell me how you like it. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, recommend it to some other folks too. Also, my artist site, adub.com. Um, have a good one. I hope this was helpful to somebody. I hope somebody learned something and I'll bring you some more cool stuff because I know I've learned like some way better stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to pace myself here and get back in the swing of things with the tutorials. So, hope this was enjoyable. I hope you learned something. Um, have a good one. Adub, I'm out.